In the entertainment world, not everybody can get along. It's just impossible and way too big of an industry. But with BTS, they have faced a lot of racist remarks, mainly because they are the first Korean group to make it so big internationally. Hi guys, welcome back to Off Cam Celebs. Let's dive in to know the list of celebrities who hate BTS. Olivia Rodrigo this American actress, singer, songwriter has brought shades to BTS in her new advertising post. Her latest song released Good For You out streamed BTS song Butter in the US in its first week. Well, actually, it's quite a shock for everyone. She had a massive success in Spotify charts and her songs became even more popular. Her management and Olivia herself then decided to make a YouTube advertisement for her song in which the advertisement is placed before many YouTube videos out there, and this includes BTS music video. Well, that's fine really, but what angers the fans is the caption on her advertisement saying, A song that tops the charts competing for the BTS. Uh, do they have to say it like that? I mean, it feels like a very unnecessary and very unprofessional way to advertise her song. A fan even commented, why did she feel the need to make this comparison? You can't promote your song without needing to say that your song got more streams than BTS. Be polite and respectful to others. I 100% agree with what this fan is saying. I mean, go promote your song, but don't promote it that way, girl. There are a hundred of ways to do that without putting shade on BTS. It's insulting. Be free. Back in 2013, when BTS just started out and they were not that famous yet, Suga and RM went to a show where the rapper named Be Free insulted them by calling them girls. Be Free said, Is BTS music hip hop is wearing makeup like a girl on stage hip hop? I do not understand where this guy is coming from, but maybe he is sleeping when K pop was born. Man, you gotta come back to your own senses. Wearing makeup does not make any man less manly, and seriously, a guy who does not wear makeup does not make him a man. He even added, I'm sure BTS hasn't listened to our albums. We haven't listened to BTS music either. I know it's not just me who thinks he's rude and very insulting to BTS. I mean, regardless of which profession we belong to, how high or low we are by status, popular or not, neither of us doesn't have the right to insult other people, but this guy does not understand that. So when ARMY called him out for being rude, he responded, If you're thinking what I said about for over 20 minutes, I sincerely recommend finding a boyfriend. Wow, this guy is something. Here is the plot twist though. Six years later, when BTS is now a global superstar, B Free posted an apology to BTS and their fans, saying, I'm so sorry for all the emotional pain I've caused. Please forgive me. Wish the best. And in Korean, he wrote, I'm incredibly sorry to BTS and BTS fans for my past actions. I thought I'd be able to say this face to face one day, but for now, I'll express my thoughts like this. See what happened? That's why you don't judge a book by its cover only and recently B Free was arrested for physically assaulting the rapper King Kai Min. Seriously, what's wrong with this guy? Well, at least he apologized to BTS. Next is Jason Derulo. BDS is known to personality kings and humble as they always care a great deal about their fans and always express their gratitude for them for every milestone in their career. BDS always says the reason behind their success after all the hardships is their fans. Aren't they the sweetest for all the musicians out there? During the time when they knew they had set a historical record of Billboard Hot 100 chart number one, guess what they did? Yes, they rushed to share the news with their fans and thank them and the people who helped them. This way, they're being blessed more because they know how to act whenever they achieve success. Their reaction to Savage Love ranking first was no different. BTS collaborated with Jason Derulo for the song Savage Love and when it became the top one song in the Billboard Hot 100 charts, BTS shared their gratitude and happiness with fans in a tweet, Thank you armies for continued love and support. 
However, Jason Derulo reacted to this in the exact opposite. The singer acted as if the milestone was solely his own achievement, although it was done together with BTS. Yes, really, he uploaded clips from his celebration parties on TikTok. In this video, you can see him celebrating and simply shouts, I got number one, without even mentioning or thanking BTS. In addition to this rudeness, in this post, he never tagged BTS or the composer, only the people close to him. Can someone tell this guy he's forgetting something? But did he really forget or did he really put it that way intentionally? What do you think? The fans were outraged when they saw his post and even commented he would never have won number one if it wasn't for BTS. Seriously, this guy needs to be sprinkled with some humbleness. The fans were even more upset about his response when he was interviewed by Ellen DeGeneres on her show. Ellen asked Jason how he collaborated with BTS. He replied, I met them a few years ago. The members came up to me and told me they were my fans, but I didn't know who they were, he added. An American singer, a New Zealand composer, and a massive K-pop group ended up working together. Did you notice something in his words? He did not even mention BTS at all. Is Jason Derulo looking down on BTS? With his actions that fans did not like, his song Savage Love was boycotted on media agencies. Our reporting that the song Savage Love was falling under down the charts. Billboard even released a report that the purchasers made from BTS fans were the reason behind Savage Love's biggest success. I wonder how Jason Derulo felt after that. How hard it is to express gratitude. It only cost you nothing. If we look back on the previous artists, BTS collaborated with their names like Halsey, Lil Nas, Becky G, Max, and a lot more. They continuously share their love for BTS. Achillo OGZ the rapper came under fire when some army dug some old Facebook of his and found that he had dissed RM in the past. RM collaborated with him and dynamic duos Gecko before. Achilo commented that the song was ruined due to RM. The rap god meets the rap retard. How it'll be? I'm only going to listen to Gecko's verse. That is actually what Achilo said. Armies decided to message Achilo about this post, but the rapper didn't seem apologetic after all. Instead, he continued defending his post. So there you have it guys. These are some of the celebrities who insulted BTS. We should be humble no matter how high we reach in life. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.